Hey guys, I absolutely hate my voice, but let's get through this together. This is a smoky green eye look. First, I'm going to be using Heaven from my Too Faced Naturalized Palette. I'm putting that all over the lid. I'm using the two shades, Nudie and Cashmere Bunny from the same palette, and putting that as just a first transition color. Second, I'm going to put raspberry cocoa into my crease. Because of my hooded eyes, you can barely tell I have a crease. I'm going to put Unbrittled from my Lorac Unzip Gold Palette. Put that into my crease as well. And this is darker, so it'll create more of a definition. And as you can see, I'm focusing this mostly in the outer corner of my crease. Next I'm going to be using the Buxom palette that I custom made. This is the shade Prenup and I'm putting that all over my lids. I originally tried to pat it on because that's what I usually do but um, I found that in order to get a better payoff you have to kind of swipe a little bit, just a little bit. see me making weird faces because I didn't want to get my chapstick on my hands. And this looks weird, I know, but it'll turn out a lot better in the end. I'm taking the same shade and putting that in the inner one third of my lower lash line. I'm taking three shades, the No Faux from my Books and Palette and mixing it with Hot Chocolate and Licorice Rope from the I Want Candy Palette. As you can see, I'm focusing more on the outer corners of my eyes but I am going into the inner corner just to create that crease. For some people, it may seem that I'm going heavy-handedly into my eyelids, kind of into my eyeball. It looks like that at least. Um, but because of my hooded eyes, I have a lot of eyelid fat there. <laughs> So I just want to make sure that I'm getting it into the crease. So I'm going to use this same three shades on a smaller tapered brush and just outline the rest of my lower lash line to create that smokier effect. If you think that you um, kind of took away some of that main base color, the main eyelid color, then you can go back, touch it up. So then I'm using as an inner corner highlight, Undiscovered and Unreal from my Lorac Unzip Gold Palette. I'm packing it into my inner corner, as well as creating a fake halo effect. I'm going back with the same brush I used for the transitiony colors and just blending out any harsh lines that might be there. I was supposed to do a wing with this look, but I completely forgot. This is a different look, and if you want to try it out, then I highly encourage that. So I did my mascara and brows off camera, and I'm going straight into my highlight. I'm going into my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit, mixing Glow Getter in 143 together. So I'm mixing those same two colors with the ice cream shade from I Want Candy palette and putting that underneath my brow bone. For lips, I'm going in with the NYX Ibiza and Mylon. So 
So I'm going with my line, which is the brighter shade in the outer corner. And then you'll see me go in with Ibiza, closer to where the plumpiest parts of your lips are. So, so I'm going to let those dry, because they are supposed to be soft matte. They're not going to dry completely matte. Um, but I'm going to later go in with my Lorac Cat Lady lipstick. It's a nude, and I did this because I wanted the lip to not be as bright, and it kind of muted it out and made it into a pinky nude. 